Hey y'all, um, <clears throat> welcome to McLeod, California. Um, this place is gorgeous. I'm right here by the McLeod Healthcare Clinic. Um, I'm just sitting here waiting for to see the doctor. Um, I finally have some clarity coming from the lithia water that I've been drinking the last two days. I realized that Edgar Casey actually was a huge proponent of lithia water. Um, he actually talked a lot about it as a, as a means of purifying our kidneys, um, of cleansing out the body. And a lot of that I think has to do with the sulfur. He talked about white and black sulfur being in these lithia waters. Edgar Casey himself, not just the lithium. I mean, everyone was obsessed with lithium back when Cage figured out that it was, there was a correlation between, you know, um, like kind of like being more mellow and the lithium. But what's been radically ignored in the in a lot of the literature around this uh, mental health stuff, medications and stuff, is like looking at the buildup of toxins in the body, particularly heavy metals. Um, Chris Chang at, at Berkeley has done a lot of work with um, neuro neurobiology of heavy metals and particularly softer ligands like sulfur, looking at copper and um, as well as iron in the brain. So if you look at Chris Chang's website at Department of California, University of California, Berkeley, You'll see this guy pushing a lot of stuff about, you know, biosensors for metals in the brain. And what I found is actually my own version of a much better way to do this without any equipment. Um, this is using, using IBM Watson artificial intelligence, the IBM Bluemix software. And my idea is basically to look at lithium distributions globally and correlate them to violence or sentiment analysis on Twitter. At least language that's consistent with whether negative or positive sentiment. It's very easy. You know, you can just get online for free and look at these data. You know, you don't need a lab. I mean, the data are there. Like, fuck the, fuck the lab, you know? I don't see any boundaries or borders or walls on Google Earth, as well as I don't see any money, you know, in my equation here for the future. I don't think that money's gonna help anybody right now. Um, <clears throat> anyhow, so the good news, get to the point. Um, here we are at McLeod Clinic. Um, there is a PhD clinical psychologist. Um, there's a physician's assistant, medical doctor, gynecologist, internal medicine, um, you know, marriage and family therapist, as well as a, um, a chiropractic doctor and a pediatrician. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, it's just pretty nice to be here. And I want to walk you through what a place to settle. Um, in the cloud, you got here this, um, you know, clinic. Oh, sorry, um, podiatry. Here we go. Diabetes, women's wellness. So there's a there's a basic a dietitian here. There's a medical director, um, and I'm kind of wait waiting for them. Um, so there's the there's the hospital at Shasta Mercy Mercy Mount Shasta Hospital. So if I need to know that, I need it. But I'm not going to push the nuclear bomb button, you know. And this is the number five three zero nine six four two three eight nine. Um, so they offer internal medicine, chiropractic, psychologist, podiatrist, family practice, gynecologist. And they're open, um, you know, they're open like Monday through Friday, nine to five, but it's Saturday. So bottom line is it's okay. I'll come back here on Monday. Um, <clears throat> but if you look around here, I want to walk you through this place. It's a really nice little town. Um, you know, it's got these sunflowers and it's got this like kind of nice little vibe. There's a, a store here. Um, and the reason why I'm kind of liking it is because there's a lot within walking distance. There's a clinic, there's a psychologist, there's these little houses, there's my car. Um, there's a church up here. Um, if you look at the church, like here's the dairy. These nice people here, they serve burgers and chicken, tacos. Nice women here told me about the low income housing, which is not just low income, but you could actually pay market price. Um, this is the deli and mini mart. Here you go. And then what's really cool about this place is they actually have a gym. And like all within one area, there's, you know, the Mount Lassen, Mount Shasta right there, like driving distance. But there's like this church here. So back here is the apartment complex that rents for $750 for a two bedroom per month with a $750 deposit. Um, this is basically a dance country so there's a dance hall <laughs> i mean the space is kind of neat because it's like all the things i like to be healthy about doing um you know and the main thing is making money and i can do that you know remotely with um with basically just like working on 
um, on the computer. So this is dance hall here. Timber, you know, there's a big timber industry. There's a Baptist church, um, totally down with that. And then there's, you know, there's a Chevron and there's like a market um, gas station. And then, yeah, cold beer, you know, you can get a beer, chill out, get a burger. And then there's this gym over here, which I think might be really cool. Cause if I gotta like, walk around and like go between the church, you know, the, the nice little place to just hang out, um, go to the doctor if I need to go like the psychiatrist and kind of work on, you know, like therapy or whatever. There's this little church here. And then there's the apartments right there. Um, yeah, and, like here's the gym. You know, it's like a little gym. Um, it's got exercise equipment in it. And if you look inside, um, <clears throat> you know, it's got weights and stuff. Um, so this could be a really healthy place to work out and use my body. Um, and like, looks like a pretty decent gym actually. There's Arnold, um, you know, and I think this is the place. Um, I'm gonna obviously have to come back on Monday. Um, but yeah, Coyote Street, um, Coyote Street Gym and Fitness. Um, and I'm going to see if they're open. I'm kind of curious. But yeah, I mean, this is like the place. Because I'm going to be training for mountaineering anyway. And like, I'm going to be summoning North Face to Shasta with a fuck kind of people. So like, if badass mountaineer Kaya doesn't, you know, if he needs to like be efficient and like pray to God and then like kick his ass and like kick some other people's ass in the gym or like then get to the computer and like get his teeth checked out and then go to the psychiatrist. If like, if the person that I, I train in the gym like gets traumatized by my workouts, then they can just go to the doctor. You know, like if I basically take him to the take him to the gym, and like I tell them that like they're basically a weak, you know, a weak person for being sane. That they think that their, you know, they think their sanity is basically the key to their survival. I tell them you're a fucking fucking normal person. You're a normie, bitch. Like 20 more fucking push-ups. You know, let's get that 500 pound squat going. You know, like when they basically end up out of my gym, like my training program which is Dr. William Kaya Herbal's liberatory native red, white, black, and yellow person for getting up on the glaciers that are growing when they're in such pain because of what I've put them through to the gym. And then I've tortured their minds with science and like loving poetry to liberate them from their chains of like hiding out and stuff. Then they could come here and they can <laughs> return their videotape and their spirits will be better for it because here's the health care they're gonna need after my workouts of body, mind, and spirit at Dr. William Kaya Herbal's gym to climb up to big ass glaciers on Shasta to just like kiss Ice Nine. And then I'll give them lithia water from National Oregon. And they'll be like totally chill because they're basically training to climb mountains, you know, because mountains don't do politics. Today we are doing deserts. Tomorrow we will build the mountains peacefully. And I'm telling you, my friends, okay, this is the place right here. This is the place, the medical clinic. This is the doctor I'm gonna be going to. This is the beautiful area that I'm hoping to live in. It's just one prayer, one option, you know, one option. But I'm just saying, because this is Dr. William Cairo's School of Mountaineering, right? Mountains don't do politics, but number one. And we're gonna be building new Lakota warriors, new black warriors, new uh, refugee warriors, breaking through the chains of white supremacy in the mountaineering industry. This is diversity mountaineering, bitch. Like this is women and men, but diversity mountaineering. People of color on Mount Shasta on the North Face. Climbing crevasses, avoiding certain death up ice chutes, ice climbing, using big ass steel shit to like climb ice and stuff and like climb rock. And then like you have to squat a lot, like run about a thousand miles to train. And then like when you're tired, you have to keep going. And then you can like basically come back and just have a nice little beer, you know, and like have a little flower, maybe drink some lithium water. And you know, if the other people at Shasta want to offer you something like a little thing to smoke, that's fine too. I'm not going to, I'm not going to advocate it, but you know, this is America and um, we're free to do, to uh, live free or die, you know? So I, my, 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 my motto is live free and live, you know, but I also like to not have anyone to tell me what to do. And anyone that tells me what to do, that person usually gets crucified. So I'm going to be teaching people how to basically fight for themselves. And, you know, Mina Wakoni waters life. And, you know, number one thing, someone calls you schizophrenic or bipolar, you say, bitch, you are crazy. I am sane because I see through the bullshit. 
I have a black hole sun in my heart as my third eye, and I love God. I love reality. I love peace, and I love Mother Nature. Because the thing is, right now, we got to protect that water. And if we train all these water protectors, particularly from Standing Rock, okay, we particularly from the Syria, you know, from all around the Middle East, we're going to get all these young men and young women, the Kurdish fighters, you know, the militias, um, anybody that wants to come to America, any refugee that wants to get trained to go back to their home country and resist in a non-violent way for Minowakoni Water's Life, water, you know, water protectors, anyone who wants to do hardcore civil disobedience on mountains and shit, okay, they're going to learn how to use, you know, uh, basically encryption, use how to use mobile, use how to use the airwaves, use, you know, basically learn how to wrap down mountains and shit and get videos, but there are no guns here, okay? But they're also open to the choice. They might be, you know, trained with a knife or a bow and arrow, and they'll be trained to basically use anything they want as like a possible way to create the resistance against big oil, okay? Because Dr. William, Mount, Dr. William Kaya Herbal School of Mountaineering is not about it's not for the faint of heart. Let's just put it that way, okay? Bottom line, we only want the most hardcore water protectors on Earth. And Red Warrior Camp may be coming out here eventually. Um, we'll see. But I don't, I, don't, I don't really know if any of them have it, have it in them yet to do what they need to do to face it. But I'm ready, and I'm, I'm ready for that first batch of Syrians to come over here. All the Syrians on Mount Shasta, all the Syrians here. All the men and women from Syria, all the Kurds, all the Iraqis, all my peeps, man, all my Palestinians, Gaza protectors, number one, represent. Take care. Arab Spring is the American Spring is world peace.